Hey, come over here. Come over there. These little fellas are called marmosets. They're one of the world's smallest monkeys. I mean, this is it. They get this big when they're fully grown. Is it even conceivable to think that one of these could be adopted by a completely different species out in the wild? They are so absurdly cute. I mean, what animal wouldn't want to adopt them? And one group of scientists discovered exactly that. It occurred in a forest reserve in the heart of Brazil, between a baby marmoset and a group of capuchin monkeys. I meet up with Professor Patricia Izar, one of the scientists who witnessed this rare event, the only long-term cross-species mothering that's ever been documented in the wild. When the marmosets, they encounter the capuchins, usually they go away. They are afraid of the capuchins. Yeah. They hunt for small mammals, small yeah. rodents and marsupials and even small primates. Yeah. So they've been known to eat a little marmoset or two. Yeah. Okay, which makes this entire episode, which you were privy to, even more unusual. Yes. Suddenly, one day, the female appeared with a very, very tiny marmoset probably days old. She was carrying the marmoset as, as if she, she was carrying her own baby. This in itself was extremely unusual, but what happened next almost certainly saved the marmoset's life. The capuchin allowed the baby marmoset to breastfeed. She was here with her mouth and the, the capuchin's nipple. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't tell for sure that she was suckling, but she was in that position several times a day as a baby capuchin, as she would do with a, a marmoset mother, and she survived. What yeah. did you think when you first saw that? That, for us, was really, really amazing. Uh, that's unheard of. It's completely unique, this case, Completely isn't it? unique, yes, yes. Over the coming months, the marmoset became very much part of the group. But there were some differences in the way she was treated. How does it manage to integrate into a group that's essentially very different in its behavior, in its ecology, yes. everything? Perfectly. <laughs> Did it in work fact, well? Yeah. Yes. In fact, the dominant male, sometimes we saw that he was treating her more or less like we treat our pets. 